Level 2 Assignment. In this Level 2, we're making a storybook page that's illustrated. In the first part of the task, in GIMP, I had you draw something as far as an animal is concerned. Based upon a story I wanted you to look up, Aesop, in Aesop Fables. In the next task, I had you take that animal and I had you reduce it down to two color and vector illustrated. And in Scribus, the last task, I had you go out and this is where you're at now. You're going to go f take that Aesop fable and you're going to put it into Scribus. And you're going to add your graphic and you're going to format the text to have a drop cap and you're going to make it look like a very nice old illustrated storybook page. If you go to Google, you'll go you can type in illustrated storybook page for examples of this. And there's a ton of these. And they they get as simple or as complex as you want. Like this one for example is a more complex scenario where this one is a very simple one. Now, your product has a size this time, however. Okay? The page in Scribus should look a lot like should be uh, have the following dimensions. So, in uh, default units, we're going to go to inches. And for the width, we're going to say it's half of a page. So it's 5.5. And the height is going to be 8.5. And the margins, 0.25. For the right and left. For the top, it could be a half inch, so 0.5. So that's your product dimensions. So it's a half a sheet of paper, folded, landscape, half a sheet of paper. All right, so that's your template. I want you to add the story. I want you to add the drop cap. I want you to add the graphic. And then you can embellish it the rest of the way. But in the end, what you need to do is you need to save this You need to go save as desktop. This is first name, last name, level two. This is the first name, last name page and anything that goes on this page needs to be put in that folder in other words you're you're in this case a frog I had for an example that frog this one who would go on that page would get put into that directory as an Inkscape SVG As far as the drop cap is concerned, that's already in in the program. That's just text. But you'll need the graphic that you put in or graphics. Maybe you decided to add more graphics than just one. Any borders, any, any illustrations, anything that you place within that page has to be in that folder. And the folder gets turned into me in the place where folders get turned into for this level. And I will inform you that where that place is at, or show you at least, uh, in the class on a certain day. Alright, so until then, keep that folder on your desktop.
until I tell you where to turn it in at. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the unit um, for this level two. And when you are done, you can move on to level three.